Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Finance. You know, the carbon tax hurts our economy and raises the price on everything, from filling up our cars to heating our homes in the winter. So putting a carbon tax that raises the price of gasoline hurts our businesses and negatively impacts our economy. It hurts our farmers, entrepreneurs, businesses, families and individuals. So a month ago, the Bank of Canada reported that the federal carbon tax was responsible for a mere 0.15 percent increase in inflation. But now, the figures have changed. The governor uh, of the Bank of Canada now says that the correct impact of the carbon tax is actually four times higher. Speaker, can the minister please explain how this regressive tax creates economic hardship for all Ontarians? And to reply, the member for Oakville and parliamentary assistant. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member for that great question. Our government knows that Ontarians are worried about making ends meet during these difficult times. We know that now is not the time for a punitive and costly tax that makes life more unaffordable for the people of Ontario and the people across this country. I'm, of course, referring to the federal carbon tax. Speaker, this tax is, as the member pointed out, driving up inflation and making all areas of life more expensive. It is making it more expensive to drive to the store to get food for your family. And once you arrive, Speaker, it's making the food at that store more expensive. This is why our government continues to urge the federal government and do the right thing and eliminate this regressive carbon tax. I wish the members opposite would join us in requesting the federal government cancel this tax now. Here, here. Supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you from the member from uh, Oakville, the parliamentary assistant, and the Minister of Finance for their dedicated work. Uh, speaker, the last thing the carbon, the last thing that Ontarians need is another tax. Unfortunately, the carbon tax is just that. So it's another tax that essentially drives up the prices of everything. And we know that the carbon tax is doing nothing more than making life more expensive for people in our province and across this country. So we need all members of this legislature to fight for Ontario's interest and call on the federal government to treat Ontario with respect when it comes to coming, providing an uh, exemption for the carbon tax. Speaker, can the parliamentary assistant please elaborate on how the federal government's carbon pricing policy negatively impacts all Ontarians? Great question. The assistant, Minister Plans. Question from the member opposite, and the member is correct in saying this is a serious issue affecting all Ontarians and Canadians. And I agree, as you mentioned as well, about the Bank of Canada does not fully address the negative effects of this tax. Even the readjusted calculation by the Bank of Canada considered only the direct impact of the carbon tax on three specific products, gasoline, heating oil and natural gas. The federal government is failing to recognize that the rising cost of consumer goods will quickly become unsustainable. Our government opposed the carbon tax from the start, and we will oppose this useless tax until it is finally removed. There are two approaches to take in this particular issue, Speaker. Either you cut taxes, like we've done with the gas tax, or you increase taxes, like the federal government has done. We ask the members opposite to pick a side. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very much. The next question, the member for